again for Apostle is Apostle Joseph Osborne. Take it away, Apostle. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Well, family of God, truly, this is the day that the Lord has made, and truly, we will rejoice and be glad in it. Praise God. I'm excited to come to you again today, and I thank God for this opportunity uh, that I'm able to come to you again, again today, family of God, and to be a blessing um, to the body of Christ. Amen. So thank you so much uh, to God for allowing me this opportunity once again. And I thank God for Chief Apostle Dr. Winnie Hamilton for also allowing me the opportunity uh, to come back and to teach you the word of God, praise God, on her show. And I thank God for her life, praise God, amen. So let's pray. Father, we come to you in Jesus' name. We give you the praise, we give you the glory, and we give you the honor. Father, I pray your blessing upon this word, your blessing upon this lesson, O oh God. I thank you, Father, that your people will be open to receive the word of the Lord, that the eyes of the understanding will be enlightened, Father God. We give you praise and we give you glory and we give you honor that, Holy Spirit, you will speak to me and through me to, to God's people at this present moment. Thank you, Father, that lives will be changed, mindsets will be renewed in the name of Jesus. So I sit down and you stand up, Lord. You take all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Well, family of God, at this present moment, I've been given a task, I've been given an assignment that I need to uh, 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 teach to you, family of God, right now, amen, uh, by Chief Apostle Dr. Winnie Hamilton. And today I'll be teaching a lesson on the believer's authority, the believer's authority the believer's authority. Praise God. Amen. So if you have your Bibles, praise God. Let's go to Ephesians uh, chapter 6, verse 12. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12. Amen. If you're there, you can turn to Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12. Praise the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. And the word of the Lord says, for we are not wrestling with flesh and blood, contending only with physical opponents, but against the, the sorry, against the despotism, against the powers, against the master spirits who are the world rulers of this present darkness, against the spirit forces of wickedness in the heavenly supernatural sphere. So family of God, this is important to understand on this lesson concerning the believer's authority. And we need to know and understand that this authority is not just given to the fivefold. It's for every believer that has accepted the Lord Jesus Christ and every believer that is born again, amen, walks in that authority, amen, that is being given through Jesus Christ by God the Father. Amen. And so family of God, uh, we need to understand that we have we have authority over such evil spirits that I've just mentioned now in Ephesians chapter six, verse 12. So we have we have authority over such evil spirits, praise God, um, through Jesus Christ. Amen. And we have authority through Christ. Amen. And that's why it's so important that you have to know who you are. And I think that we have been dealing with this chief apostle has been teaching this for a, for a couple of weeks and other guests that have been on uh, have been teaching on the previous lesson, um, who you are in Christ. You know, it's so important that you must know who you are in Christ. Amen. That is so important. So as you begin to know who you are and when you begin to know who you are, you will know the authority of who you are because you know um, the person that resides on the inside of you, amen, the anointed one, the greater one that resides on the inside of you, praise God, amen, you stand in that authority, praise God. And so that's important. So we have authority over all evil spirits in the earth family of God through Jesus Christ, amen. And we have authority through Christ, okay? So our combat with 
the devil always should be with the conscious that we have authority over the devil because he is a defeated foe amen the lord jesus christ defeated him for us amen and so what we need to understand family of god is that the devil is a defeated foe we are not fighting the devil he's a defeated foe so how can you fight a defeated foe but what we are doing now, family of God, is that we are resisting. We are resisting the devil. Amen. According to James 4 verse 7, the word of the Lord says, Submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Amen. And so as you submit to God's authority, amen, praise God, you are subject to God's authority, you are submissive to God's authority, you resist the devil, amen, in other words, you stand fast against him, okay, praise God, and as you stand fast against him, you, you're able to stand fast against him with the word of God, amen, having been uh, put on the whole armor of God, praise God, which is your spiritual armor, amen, that doesn't get taken off, it stays on you permanently through your covenant relationship with Jesus. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So it stays on you when you're born again. The whole armor of God is placed upon your life through your covenant relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. So there's no such of a thing that you take your armor off when you're going to sleep and when you get up, you put it back on again. No, because the armor of God protects you while you are asleep from any demonic activity uh, demonic spiritual activity that's taking place uh, during the course of the night. Praise God. Amen. And so you stand fast against him. Amen. Being full with the word of God. Amen. Jesus was able to stand fast against the enemy in the wilderness when he, when he declared, it is written. Amen. It is written. He stood upon the word of God. He overcame with the it is written word of God. Amen. Praise God. And so therefore we also are overcomers today. Praise God. Amen. With the word of God, as we stand upon the word of God, we are able to speak what the word of God says. And our response will always be the word of God. And so we stand fast against the enemy, being full with the word of God, praise God. And as we are full with the word of God, as we are clothed with the whole armor of God, and as we full of the Holy Ghost, praise God, amen. The Bible says that he will flee from us, amen. In other words, he will run in terror. Okay, so we are not fighting the devil, we are resisting the devil, okay? And so it's important to understand, family of God, that authority over the devil belongs to all the children of God. And you have authority in your walk, in your personal relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. You walk in that authority through Jesus Christ, amen? And so family of God, how do we receive this authority? We receive this authority when we are born again. So you receive this authority when you are born again, as we are made uh, uh, new creatures in Christ Jesus. We are a new creation in Christ Jesus, according to uh, 2 Corinthians 5, 17. Amen. Praise God. We are new creatures. We are new creatures. Anyone who is engrafted in Christ, he is a new creature, is a new creation. The old things have passed away, and behold, God is doing a new thing. Amen. So God makes you quality new. He makes you brand new. He does not patch you up. Praise God. Amen. And so you receive this authority when you are born again. Amen. And as you are made new, a new creature, a new creation in Christ Jesus' family, we inherit the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And we can use it in prayer against the enemy. Amen. Against the enemy. Hallelujah. You can use the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. There's power in the name of Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. Let's look at what the word of God says in the book of Luke chapter 10, verse 19 to 20. Luke chapter 10 verse 19 to 20 praise god luke chapter 10 verse 19 to 20 hallelujah glory to god and the word of the lord says behold i have given you authority 
and power to trample upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power that the enemy possesses and nothing shall in any way harm you. Hallelujah. Praise God. So we see in the scripture that he's given us authority. Jesus has given us authority and power to trample upon serpents and scorpions and physical and mental strength and ability over all the power that the enemy possesses and nothing shall in any way harm you. Praise God. Verse 20. Nevertheless, do not rejoice at this, that the spirits are subject to you, but rejoice that your names are enrolled in heaven. Family of God, that is the most important thing, is that you acknowledge that your name is written in the Lamb's book of life. Hallelujah. That is so important. As the scripture says, what does it profit a man to gain the whole world and yet to lose his soul? Praise God. Amen. But we thank God that as we look at Luke uh, chapter 10, verse 19, the word, the word tread, the Bible says that he's given us uh, 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 power, he's given us authority to trample. The other version will say tread. And so when we look at this word um, tread, this word tread means uh, preservation from danger, preservation from danger. But also this word tread means is to subjugate, it's to subjugate, okay? So we have authority, okay? The word authority in this passage of scripture comes from the Greek word exousia, exousia, praise God. And that means power to act. It means authority, and it also means delegated power, okay? It also refers to the authority God gives his saints. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Authorizing them to act to the extent they are guided by faith through his revealed word. Amen. And so as we have been given this power, this authority to tread, amen, in other words, to subjugate as you have accepted Jesus Christ into your life and you are born again, you have been given this authority through Jesus Christ, amen, praise God. So you have been given this delegated power, this authority, hallelujah, praise God, amen, amen, so that you can walk out, amen, and demonstrate the power of Jesus Christ, hallelujah, glory to God. And so it's important to also understand that the word subjugate, the word subjugate means to bring under control and governancy as a subject. To bring under control and governancy as a subject. And so family of God, you have been given this authority, people of God, through Jesus Christ. And this is why you need to understand that as, as the word of God says in 2 Timothy 1 verse 7, that, that, that God has not given us a spirit of fear, but he's given us a spirit of power and of love and of a sound mind, family of God. And this is why that this is the, this is why we do not walk in fear. We do not walk in fear. Jesus has overcome this world. Amen. So we do not walk in fear being scared about anything, any demon, any witches, any wizards, any warlocks, any demonic powers. We do not fear that, praise God. Amen. Because we know who resides on the inside of us. Hallelujah. The greater one, the anointed one, praise God. Amen. And, 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 and we walk in that authority and we speak in that authority. Praise God. Hallelujah. We speak in that authority in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And so we understand, family of God, that we have this authority. So therefore, we can walk in this authority. Praise God. We are there to subjugate. We are there to trample upon these serpents, these uh, scorpions. We are there to subjugate. Praise God. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So therefore, we are able to bring it under control. Amen. Praise God. We have authority over every demonic powers. We have authority over every demonic forces. Hallelujah. Because we stand in a higher authority. 
Glory to God. We stand in our high authority, who is Jesus Christ. Praise the name of Jesus. So therefore, you are more than a conqueror today, family of God, as you stand with Jesus Christ on the inside of you. Amen. As you stand as his example in the earth. Remember that Jesus is our example, family of God. Amen. He's our example, and we have to follow uh, in his example. Praise God. Amen. Glory to God. Let's look at 1 John 4.17. 1 John 4.17. And the Bible says, in this union and communion with him, Jesus, love is brought to completion and attains perfection with us, that we may have confidence for the day of judgment with assurance and boldness to face it because as he is so are we in this world as he is so are we in this world praise god amen praise god and that's to all believers that has a relationship, a personal intimate relationship with Jesus Christ and who are born again, praise God. And as I said now previously before, that Jesus is our example, therefore he's the pattern. And we have to follow in that example of Jesus Christ, amen? Praise God, praise the name of Jesus. So he's our Lord, he's our savior, he's our elder brother, praise God, amen? And so as he is, so are we in this world, Jesus, walked in authority he lived in authority therefore we walk in the same authority we have that same authority we live in that same authority and we can speak in that same authority in that authority in the name of jesus the name that is above every other name hallelujah that every tongue amen has to confess that jesus christ is lord that every knee has to bow that jesus christ is lord and so we speak in that name hallelujah the name that is above every other name praise the name of Jesus the name that has authority hallelujah glory to God hallelujah amen praise God praise God amen and so as he is so are we in this world praise God and when we look at the life of Jesus Jesus always lived in total obedience to God the Father and the Bible says that Jesus learned obedience through the things that he suffered he learned obedience and so family we, we we will learn obedience with the help of the holy spirit through our apostolic sufferings there is some sufferings that you're going to have to go through praise god but we know that we can look to jesus who is our example who whom overcame this world praise god hallelujah amen and so we acknowledge that he resides on the inside of us so therefore we are more than conquerors Praise God. We are more than a conqueror today. Hallelujah. Amen. And each and every day, we are more than overcomers. Hallelujah. Praise God. And therefore, we stand in a position of victory, knowing, hallelujah, that we are winners. We are victors. Praise God. Glory to God. And we are not defeated. Amen. We are not born to be defeated. But the devil is a defeated full family of God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. And so, when we look at the word tread, uh, when we go back now to Luke chapter 10, verse 19, when we look at the word tread, um, it comes from the Greek word, which is called patio. And it means to tread or to tread on. It means to tread or it means to tread on. Okay. And so we have been given this power and authority through Jesus Christ. Amen. To tread amen to tread hallelujah in other words to subjugate praise god amen thank you jesus so in other words to bring under domination or control especially by conquest so remember this where we are not fighting the devil we are resisting him praise god and to know that you are an overcomer today amen the bible says in the book of revelations chapter 12 Revelation chapter 12, verse 11, it says, and they have overcome. Okay, in other words, they have overcome, they have conquered him by means of the blood of the Lamb and by the utterance of their testimony, for they did not love and cling to life even when faced with death, holding their lives cheap till they had to die, for they are witnessing. 
family of God, you overcome today. You overcome today by the blood of the Lamb and by the utterance or the word of your testimony. That's how you overcome today. You stand in a position as an overcomer, praise God, amen, as a conqueror, as more than a conqueror, praise God, as you stand, amen, under the blood of Jesus, hallelujah, glory to God, thank God for the blood of Jesus, amen, amen, that no weapon formed against you, praise God, it shall not prosper, glory to God, and every tongue that is risen up in judgment against you, amen, we condemn it in the name of Jesus, glory to God, the scripture says, what shall man do to me, so we should not be afraid of man, Amen. Praise God. The scripture says, what shall separate us from the love of God? Nothing. Nothing can separate us from the love of God. God loves us unconditionally, family of God. Amen. And so, family, as we understand this today, that you overcome, you overcome by the blood of the Lamb and by the words of your testimony. And the word of your testimony is what the word of God says. Is what the word of God says. Jesus never ran in fear. He never ran in terror. He spoke the word. He spoke with authority. He spoke with boldness. Hallelujah. He spoke the words of the Lord. He spoke the kingdom. Amen. He spoke life and he spoke with boldness and he spoke with confidence and he spoke in authority. Amen. Praise God. As believers of God, we need to speak in that authority. When we speak the word of God, we must speak it with boldness. Hallelujah. We must speak it in the, with the authority and in the authority of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And not speak uh, uh, from a place of fear and intimidation. No. Or timidity. No. That is not of God because we're reading the scripture now. In 2 Timothy 1 verse 7, that he's not given us a spirit of fear, but a power and of love and of a sound mind. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. So you don't have to walk like a coward amen when you stand in the authority of jesus christ as a believer knowing who you are as you stand as jesus example and as his sample in the earth glory to god hallelujah that you can speak the word of god with boldness and authority amen praise god hallelujah glory to god and you don't have to walk in fear you don't have to live in fear praise god amen glory to god Glory to God. Hallelujah. Authority. Let's look at the word authority. What authority means. And the word authority means. It means power. To influence. Or command thought. Opinion. Or behavior. A person. Who has authority. Over another person. Family, family of God, you have authority over the devil. The devil has no power. He has no authority unless you give it to him. Unless you give it to him. Praise God. So the, the, the devil has no authority. He has no power. But as a believer, amen, you have authority. You have power today. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. So you have authority and you have power over the devil. So in this earth, you are born to rule and reign in the earth, not to be defeated. You are not a weak link. You are not a defeated foe. Glory to God. You are a child of the most high God. You are a kingdom citizen. You are a kingdom ambassador. Praise God. Amen. You are part of another kingdom. Glory to God. And you stand in that authority. As you represent the kingdom of God. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, authority is also a person who has the power to give orders or make decisions. So family, you listen to this. This is this is so powerful. This is so powerful. Let, let me come back to this. But listen to this. Um, a person who stands in a position of authority means having official power to make important decisions. So as you stand in your authority in Jesus Christ, you have been given authority and powers to give orders and to make decisions. The Bible says in Job 22, 28, whatever you decide on the matter, so shall it be done. Praise God. If thou shalt decree, if thou shalt decree anything, amen, amen, the favor of God will shine upon it. Amen. Praise God. It shall be done. 
Amen. So you stand in that authority and you speak the word of God and you say what the word of God says, that your counterattack is always the word of God. You are resisting him. You stand firm against him with the word of God. Your response is always the word of God. And you stand in that authority. You stand in that power in, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You stand in that authority. Glory to God. Amen. Praise God. And you will see supernatural things begin to manifest. Fest. You will begin to see miracles. You will begin to see signs. You will begin to see wonders. Hallelujah. Praise God. You are able to speak light into the midst of dark areas because you are the light of the world. Jesus says to his disciples, as long as I am with you, I am the light of the world. Okay. And, and, and we know that Jesus' assignment is, is fulfilled on the earth. Amen. It is accomplished. It's now Holy Spirit time. And, and, and Holy Spirit resides on the inside of us. Praise God. He's a person that resides on the inside of us praise god and so we know that jesus is assignment has been completed and so now it's holy spirit time and holy spirit resides on the inside of you and i family of god and he is the person that infuses us with supernatural explosive ability or supernatural uh, enablement enablement power we receive from the holy spirit amen that we are able to stand strong we're able to stand tall we are able to stand firm amen we, we are able to stand up praise god as the apostle paul says having done all stand we're able to stand and i'm talking about your spirit man your spirit man is able to stand the greek word of stand is called stene your spirit man is that is talking about the uprightness of your spirit man you're able to stand up amen praise god and counter attack any demonic forces with the word of god and standing in the authority of jesus christ and executing that authority and that power that is being given to you by jesus christ hallelujah amen praise god glory to god glory to god and so whatever you decide on the matter so shall it be done glory to god praise god you have the authority listen to me listen to me you have the authority and the power even in your mouth because the bible says death and life lies in the power of your tongue in your mouth you can either speak blessings you can speak uh, curses you can speak life or you can speak death amen and you have the ability to be god's mouthpiece in the earth so you have the ability amen to shift and change the atmosphere right where you are this is not a time for you to play with the enemy this is not a time for you to do that right now. No, he's a defeated foe. But you're resisting. And you're overcoming by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of your testimony. Amen. You stand on the word of God. You stand on the word of God. You speak the word of God. Hallelujah. And we understand and we know this truth that Jesus has overcome the world family of God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. So you are an overcomer. You are more than a conqueror today in Jesus' mighty name. Glory to God. Amen. And so as we look at the word exousia, okay, exousia means authority, right? But exousia can also be the thought of in terms of jurisdiction or dominion over a certain realm, right, privilege, or ability. Now, in saying this family of God, Jesus has authority over all. He is far above all authority, dominion, and power. Jesus is superior to all. Amen. And so you stand in that power and that authority. Amen. Let's read scriptures to confirm this, what I said. Let's look at Ephesians chapter 1. We're going to read from verse 18 to 23, okay? By having the eyes of your heart flooded with light, so that you can know and understand the hope to which he has called you, and how rich his glorious inheritance in the saints, he is set apart once, and so that you can know and understand what is the immeasurable and unlimited and surpassing greatness of his power. Amen. His power in and for us who believe. You've got to believe this family of God. A lot of people are walking in defeat today because they, are, 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 they, they, they don't know this truth. 
that they have been given all authority and power through Jesus Christ to trample. In other words, to subjugate over all evil entities, evil forces, demonic forces. Praise God. Glory to God. Through the blood of Jesus. Amen. Praise God. And so verse 20 says, which he exerted in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at, at his own right hand in the heavenly places. Far above all rule and authority. Listen to this. And power and dominion and every name that is named above every title that can be conferred. Not only in this age and in this world, but also in the age and the world which is to come. He has put all things under his feet, family. This is Jesus now. He has put all, amen, all things under his feet. Glory to God. Amen. Praise God. He has put all things under his feet, amen, and has appointed him as the universal and supreme head of the church. In other words, a headship exercised throughout the church. And this authority and power has been given to the church. To the church. Not to a church, not to a building. I'm talking to a people today. I'm talking to the ecclesia. I'm talking to the remnant. I'm talking to the kingdom citizens, the kingdom ambassadors. I'm talking to the believers that you have been given this authority. You've been given this power. My God, glory to God. Amen, amen. Praise God that you can stand in that authority and not be afraid by any witches, any wizards, any warlocks, demons, Anything of any demonic entity, you will not fear. You are not there to live in fear, but you stand in that authority in the blood of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Praise God. And you tell the enemy what he is not allowed to do in your life, in your home, in your <clears throat> sorry, in your family, in your marriage, in your business, in your marriage. You remind the enemy what he's not allowed to do. But you've got to know family, you've got to know who you are, and you've got to know the authority of, of, of who you are and who you represent and who you stand in, because you know whom resides on the inside of you, who is anointed, the greater one. Glory to God. Amen. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. He has put all things under his feet, verse 22, and he's appointed him the universal and supreme head of the church. Verse 23, which is his body, the fullness of him who fills all in all. For in that body lives the full measure of him who makes everything complete and who fills everything everywhere with himself. Praise God. Let me give you another scripture. Praise God. First Peter chapter 3. Verse 21 to 22. And the Bible says, And baptism, which is a figure of the day of deliverance, does now also save you from inward questionings and fears. Not by the removing of outward body filled by body, no, but by providing you with the answer of a good, clear conscience, that, that means inward uh, 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 cleanness and peace before God. Because you are demonstrating what you believe to be yours through the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Praise God. And as you become aware of the authority and the power that has been in, in given to you by Jesus Christ, praise God, you are able to go out and demonstrate that power. Family of God, the church should be walking and demonstrating the true power of Jesus Christ. And the only way we can do that is if we are walking in the authority of Jesus Christ under his lordship. Amen. Praise God. And he has now entered into heaven and is at the right hand of God with all angels and authorities and powers made subservient to him. So all angels, all authorities, all powers in heaven and under in the earth and under the earth is and all be made subservient to him they are subjected to him praise god and as he is according to first john 4 verse 17 as he is so are we in this world so therefore the enemy has no power and authority over your life no any evil forces has any power and authority over your life unless you give it to him unless you give it to him family of god 
Glory to God. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Another scripture that you can also read is 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 20 to 28. Okay. So what we understand in these scriptures that Jesus Christ um, has disarmed the powers and authorities. Okay. And that's, that's the word exousia again. And made a public spectacle of them triumphant over them by the cross and he has authority over all so therefore you have authority because as he is so are you in this world glory to god amen amen and so when jesus is talking about uh, as we go back to luke chapter 10 verse 19 that he says he's given us power and authority over scorpions and and over um the serpents jesus is talking about the power of the devil demons evil spirits and all his cohorts, we have authority over all of this family of God. And today, I challenge you to realize this truth, to embrace this truth, to become one with this truth as you partner with the Holy Spirit and as you have a personal, intimate relationship with Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Family of God, the value of our authority rest on the power that is the, that is behind that authority so we stand in the authority of the one who has been given all authority who is jesus christ we stand in his authority we speak in his authority not in our own but in his authority praise god glory to god and that authority comes from god the father amen Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. So family of God, we need to understand that there's authority that's vested in us by the Lord Jesus Christ. The moment we accepted Jesus into our life as our Lord and our personal Savior, and we became born again, that authority has been vested into us by the Lord Jesus Christ. And that's why I say to you today, family of God, according to Ephesians 6 verse 10, I encourage you today to be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might, family of God. This is not a time for you to be silent. This is not a, the enemy wants you to be silent. The enemy wants you to run in fear. The enemy wants you to run in terror. But that is the lies of the devil. God has not given you a spirit of fear, but of power, then of love, and of a sound mind. You will hear and obey what God is saying and don't open your ears to hear any lies of the devil. If some of you have ran into the cave because you heard the voice of Jezebel that might have said to you, this time tomorrow you will die. Today I charge you before the heavens to come out of the caves and hear the voice of God and not to run and live in fear and in panic and anxiety and be scared about anyone or any demon or any evil forces. Today you stand in the authority of Jesus Christ. You are the head and not the tail. You are above and not beneath. You are more than a conqueror. You are more than an overcomer. You are who God says you are, people of God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. This is a season and a time for you to acknowledge that you are that you arise in the strength of the Lord, that you be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might, that you take your offense position today. Amen. Praise God. And you fight the good fight of faith. You fight the good fight of faith, being clothed with the whole armor of God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Amen. Don't be afraid to open up your mouth and plead the blood of Jesus upon your home, upon your family. Hallelujah. Praise God, because that is our traditional term in the courts of heaven. Amen. That we have that authority in the name of Jesus to plead his blood. Hallelujah. And in the blood of Jesus, there's healing. Amen. The blood of Jesus has never lost its power. Praise God, there's healing, there's deliverance in the blood of Jesus. There's forgiveness of sins in the blood of Jesus. Glory to God. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. So let me say this to you, family of God. You tell the enemy what he's not allowed to do. Now watch this. You tell the enemy what he's not allowed to do. Let me give you just an example. Um, Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 59 Verse 19, Isaiah chapter 59, verse 19. So as the result of the Messiah's intervention, they shall reverently fear the name of the Lord from the west 
and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in, we always read the scripture, when the enemy comes in, like a flood, the spirit of the Lord will raise up a standard. Family, the correct way uh, that this scripture is interpreted from the original transcript is that when the enemy comes in, comma, like a flood, the spirit of the Lord will raise up a standard. Amen. Praise God. Because the, 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 the spirit of the Lord is the symbolic symbol of water and flood is the symbolic symbol of water, which represents the Holy Spirit. So you've got to remind the enemy, this family of God, that he is not allowed to come in like a flood. How many times we've been quoting that scripture, not having truth and understanding to that scripture. And we have been allowing the enemy to come in like a flood when the enemy is not allowed to come in like a flood. So you have to remind the enemy today. Amen. What he is not allowed to do so you stand in the authority of jesus christ and you speak in that power amen in the name of jesus glory to god and you tell the enemy what he's not allowed to allowed to do you tell him he's not allowed to come in like a flood in your home amen but you allow the spirit of god to come in like a flood in your home and it's the spirit of the lord that will raise up a standard god is the standard praise god Amen. Glory to God. And so you can live in victory and walk in victory and walk in wholeness, family of God. Walk in restoration, complete restoration. Amen. Glory of God. Glory to God. Amen. And so family of God, it's not just also knowing about the authority that you have, but knowing uh, how to also use your authority. And so today I pray that you are being encouraged to acknowledge, to know the authority that you have in Jesus Christ. And in whose authority do you stand? And today, be challenged not to be afraid to use your authority. It is for every believer to use your authority. Praise God. Amen. So family of God, I encourage you today to stand your ground. Don't give in to fear. Don't give in to the lies of the devil. But stand your ground. Having done all stand. Been clothed with the whole armor of God. Amen. And know that the greater one, the anointed one, resides on the inside of you. According to 1 John 4 verse 4. Greater is he that is in you than he who is Satan that's in this world. He's the God of this world. The head of principalities and powers and rulers of the darkness of this world. Family of God, know that the power that's in you today is greater than the power that's in the world. The power that is inside of you is greater than the power that is in the world. Glory to God. Let's read that scripture, 1 John 4 verse 4. Little children, you are of God. You belong to him. And you have already defeated and overcome them the agents of the Antichrist, because he who lives in you, he who lives in you is greater. The word greater is the word mightier than he who is in the world. Jesus Christ is greater. Hallelujah. He's mightier that lives on the inside of you, that he that's in the world family of God. So family, know this powerful truth today and embrace it and let it become a reality in your life today. That the power that is inside of you is greater than the power that is in this world. Because the power that backs our authority is greater than that which backs our enemies. Glory to God. So family, today you need to know the authority that you have as a believer. So family of God, we need to learn this truth. We need to learn this truth. We need to learn. We need to so learn the truth about our authority that we have in Christ. And upon this truth, upon this truth, you act upon this knowledge. You act upon this knowledge of this truth, family, the truth. And I'm telling you, you will bring forth results. You will bring forth supernatural breakthroughs, healing, deliverance. Praise God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus.
Thank you, Jesus. You will dominate it. Hallelujah. And enjoy the authority that is rightfully ours. This is rightfully belongs to every believer. This authority. Glory to God. Amen. And so family of God, to be encouraged with this. All authority, all power has been given to you through Jesus Christ. Family of God, we need to know who we are. And we will know the authority of who we are. Because as he is, according to 1 John 4, 17, as he is, so are we in this world. Amen? So we have authority through Jesus Christ. And family, the authority that we have is not to for, for manipulation or self-glory or personal gain. No, but the authority that we have, we need to demonstrate this authority. We need to influence people's lives. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Even when we look at the life of Jesus, when you study the Gospels and you see the life of Jesus, what Jesus did and how he spoke and everything that he did in the word of God, Jesus spoke with authority. He spoke, he always spoke with authority. And number two, Jesus always demonstrated authority. He demonstrated that which he taught. There was always demonstration. Amen. And, and you must understand this, that as you teach the word of God, you teach kingdom, there must be demonstration that must come through that which you are teaching. Then you have fully preached the gospel. So through the Holy Spirit residing on the inside of us, being born again, we have the dunamis power. Amen. And that we are able to, to, to demonstrate the, the, the word is called a dunamis, which is miracles, signs, and wonders. This is the season and the time that we are living, family of God, Holy Spirit time, that we are to demonstrate miracle signs and wonders in the season and in this time that we are living, family of God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And we see that in the life of Jesus. He spoke in authority and he demonstrated that. Everything was subjected to what came out of his mouth when he spoke, everything was subjected to him. And so that's the authority that we have, amen, to tread, hallelujah, to bring to subjugation, to subjugate, hallelujah. We have authority in the name of Jesus to do that. And we decree and we declare healing, amen, amen. Family of God, don't ever say, God, if it's your will to heal me, please heal me. No, it is God's will to heal you. And let me also say this here. You stand in your authority in Jesus Christ, but you've been fully armed with the word of God. So you have to know the truth because the truth makes you free. The truth does not set you free. The truth makes you free because it is a process. It is a process. Praise God. Amen. And so as we look at the life of the apostles too, the apostles, wherever they went, they spoke with boldness. They spoke in authority. Even if you look at Acts chapter 4, they prayed for boldness. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. They spoke in authority. They spoke with boldness. They spoke with confidence. Amen. Praise God. And not just only speaking God's word in authority. Places they used to go to. Places they went to. Wherever the apostles went to. Amen. Things would stop in that place. Not also because sometimes, uh, sometimes they would speak and sometimes they would not. But because of their presence being there, things will begin to change. Family, when you know who you are and you know who you are, amen, when you step into places, sometimes you don't even need to open up your mouth, but your presence will make a difference. Your presence will shift the atmosphere. Praise God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Your presence will shift the atmosphere. Praise God. Amen. Because your presence is there in that place so for example you can be sitting on a chair amen praise god and you as you walk in the in 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 in, in the dunamis power of jesus christ amen amen as you get up from the chair and somebody whose body might be under attack sits in the chair can immediately be healed just like that hallelujah that's the supernatural family of god 
And let me go back to what I wanted to say just now. I said, we've got to remind the enemy what he's not allowed to do. I said previously before in the lesson that we got to be careful what comes out of our mouth. We have to speak life. It's either life or death that comes out of your mouth. And so today, it is God's will to heal you. You must say, my body is under attack. And don't say that I'm sick. Because when you say that you're sick, you're bringing your body under attack. You're speaking negative. You're speaking negative. So you must not say, I'm sick. That is speaking negative. Let me rephrase that. Sorry. So when you say, I'm sick, you're speaking negative. But what you must say is that my body is under attack. You are putting your body in a military stance position. You're standing on the word of God. You're standing on the promises of God. And your response is the word of God. You're fighting the good fight of faith. And so you are decreeing and declaring the word of God. That you are saying, by his stripes, I am healed. Healing is your covenant benefit family of God. Amen. And so you claim your healing. That's your authority as a believer. You claim your healing. You claim your healing. You decree and declare healing. You decree and declare divine health. Amen. You decree and declare Zoe life. That is your inheritance as a believer. And so you stand in that authority. So be encouraged to know this authority today, family of God, so that you will not walk and live in defeat, but you are a victor. Praise God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Amen. And so family of God, according to Ephesians 1 verse 3, May blessings, praise be to the God and our Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Messiah who has blessed us in, ev in has blessed us in Christ, sorry, with every spiritual given by the Holy Spirit, blessing in the heavenly realm. Hallelujah. In the heavenly realm. Amen. Praise God. And so family of God, all spiritual blessing, every spiritual blessing, every spiritual blessing that there is in Christ, all that spiritual blessings belongs to you and I who are in an intimate covenant relationship with Jesus. Amen. Praise God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So family, know what belongs to you. Know what belongs to you. Use what belongs to you. Amen. So this is important in this season to know what belongs to you and to use what belongs to you. Know this truth as it is, as it will make you free. Remember, I said the truth does not set you free. It makes you free. So you need to become more aware of the truth of who you are and whose you are and your authority that you have been given through Jesus Christ. Praise God. Know this truth. And it will make you free. So you don't have to live in fear or intimidation, family of God. The Bible says in Hosea 4 verse 6, my people, my people, meaning God is talking to his people, not sinners. He says, my people, not sinners, not the world. He says, my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. So family of God, may you pursue to take time to know the truth of your authority that has been given to you in your relationship with Jesus, by God, through Jesus Christ, so that you don't live a defeated life, but you stand victorious. Family, Jesus says, I give unto you power to tread on serpents 
As we said, the word trade is to subjugate. He's given us power and authority to subjugate on serpents and scorpions and, and over all the power of the enemy. And nothing, listen to this today, family, and nothing, and nothing, and nothing, and nothing shall by any means hurt you, family of God. He said in the word of the Lord, in the book of Hebrews, he says, he'll never leave you. He'll never forsake you. Family of God, we need to build on these truths. We need to build on these truths. We need to, we need to build these truths into our lives as well by meditating and feeding upon them until they become a part of our conscience so that we will speak what the word of God says. Today, family of God, you can dominate the enemy. Remember, we have authority over him. Remember, we are not fighting the devil. He is a defeated foe. He is a defeated foe. Amen. But we are resisting the enemy. Family of God, I'm going to read the last scripture. Matthew 28, 18. All power, Jesus says, all power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. All authority that can be exercised upon the earth has to be exercised through the church because Christ Christ is not a person in his physical body. We are the body of Christ. We are the body of Christ. Praise God. We are the body of Christ. He has conferred his authority on the earth to his body, the church. Family of God, let us stand in this truth. Let's embrace this truth. And know that we are victorious in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Well, family, I thank you for taking the time to tune in. Thank you for taking the time to listen. I encourage you today to please feel free to share this broadcast with your family and friends. Once again, I thank God for this opportunity. I thank my apostle, Dr. Winnie Hamilton, for the opportunity. And I give God all the glory, the praise, and the honor. And I thank KAZ Radio for this wonderful platform once again to share the gospel. Well, family, today I, I want to invite you to have a personal relationship with Jesus. I want to invite you to have a love affair relationship with Jesus. Jesus never came to give us a religion, but he came to give us a relationship. And today, as you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and your personal savior, and you become born again, you will walk and live in this authority and in this power to stand as a victor and not as a defeat. So today, wherever you are, you can say, Lord Jesus, come into my life. Come and be the Lord of my life. I believe in my heart. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord. I believe that you did die on the cross and you rose again on the third day and you are seated at the right hand of the Father. I receive the finished work of the cross. I receive the blood of Jesus. I confess that I have sinned. And I need you, Jesus, in my life. Come into my life today. Holy Spirit, come into my life. Lead me, guide me, and govern me in my spiritual walk with the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Well, family of God, if you have prayed that prayer, God bless you. I welcome you to the kingdom of God's family. I encourage you today, find a good church to go to, a church that is Bible-based, word-based, spirit-led, spirit-governed, and become an Advent student of the word of God. Take time to study the word. Praise God. And if you need to reach out to to us, praise God, you can contact KAZ Radio. Amen. If there's any material that you would need to help you in your spiritual walk with God, we will see how we are able to assist you. Know this thought today that you are born to make a difference in your world. You are born to make a difference in your world. So today I challenge you to make a difference in your world. You are the hope to someone. You are the solution to someone. You are the light in this dark world, in someone's life, to a community, to a people, in a region. So today, walk by faith and not by sight. God bless you. I love you. Shalom.